Millions of people depend on what they grow for survival. But droughts and other shocks can destroy their livelihoods. The number of shocks keeps increasing. More droughts and more floods. More conflicts. As a result, food prices increase and become more volatile. Every year, the Global Hunger Index draws a precise picture of hunger. Many countries and regions with alarming hunger levels, like Haiti, the Sahel, and the Horn of Africa, are regularly hit by shocks. For example, in the Sahel, the intervals between droughts are becoming shorter. People have to sell their land or livestock to survive and are left without safety nets or sources of income. Despite early warnings, international aid often only arrives when people are already starving. More than 250,000 people died during the drought in the Horn of Africa in 2011. To prevent such disasters, to mitigate the consequences of crises, and to fight hunger, it is essential to strengthen resilience so that people not only survive crises, but adapt and develop despite them. Haiti has experienced recurring shocks and stresses. Development organizations such as Concern and Welthungerhilfe have contributed to strengthening resilience in local communities by improving the food and nutrition security and living standards of households in one of the poorest regions of the world. They have done so via multiple types of interventions and programs. When the need was acute, food for work or cash for work programs helped bridge hunger periods. Food deficits were reduced by up to 50%. Irrigation systems and erosion protection helped increase yields, despite recurring natural disasters. As a result, rice production doubled from three to six tons per hectare, and subsistence farmers became market suppliers. In total, yields increased by up to 200%, which also provided for better incomes. The whole region has developed. We also ask our politicians to do more to protect us. A lot has already been achieved in the fight against hunger. All of us, in industrialized countries, as well as in emerging economies and developing countries, have to help reduce risks. We have to support vulnerable populations when crises hit but we also have to commit in the long term to work on the underlying causes so people can feed themselves and become resilient to crises. Together, we can approach our joint goal, a world without hunger.